What's up, guys? This is Will Wee with PragerU back on the streets on Hollywood Boulevard today talking to people about coronavirus deaths and what they actually know about it. Let's do it. There are 350 million people in America. Right. What percentage would you say of those people have died of COVID-19? 14 to 21 percent. 14 to 21? I was going to say 15. One percent. Yeah. One percent. One percent. Yeah. Would it shock you if I told you it was point zero five six percent? Really? Wow. These are from the CDC. Yeah. That's, that's, Does that shock you at all? I mean, that number is a lot smaller than I thought. Do you know how many children in California have died from COVID? No. You have to guess. Um, probably a couple thousands. Uh, maybe a couple hundred. I don't think that many. How many people do you think under the age of twenty-five have died from COVID in America? Total number of people? 40,000? 10,000. 10,000? Is 360 people under the age of 25 have died from coronavirus. Two children in all of California. Damn, that's... Yeah. I mean, that's really... <laughs> How many do you think is the percentage of people who have died from COVID that are above 55 years old? 30%? I would say between 20 per 25%. 92% of all COVID deaths are over the age of 55. Oh, oh, night. Oh, oh, damn. See what I'm saying, though? Elderly people. Where are you, nurse at? In Indiana. Okay. Yeah. Are you seeing a lot of COVID patients come in there? Um, somewhat. Our numbers are spiking back up, but the ICU beds aren't full, so we're happy. Yeah. And we're not seeing as many deaths, so. Yeah. Yeah. Were they ever full? Uh, no, they were never full. Is that surprising? I wasn't surprised, no. I feel like it's, it can be over-exaggerated a little bit. Only 6% of COVID deaths were actually caused by COVID just alone, that all the other 94% of people had pre-existing conditions before? Um, yeah, I didn't know that, but I, I did read some article that uh, hospitals have an incentive to call it a COVID death, so they get more funding from like the states and the uh, federal government. Yes, they do. And any death of anyone is sad, right. but we're closing down all the schools in California because of you know, two deaths of children in the state. Do you think that that's a fair thing to do? Hell no, no, I don't. Me, I don't think, and I say it in my state too, that we should necessarily shut down the schools because I feel like that the more kids are exposed to the virus, the better their chances are. It helps boost the immune system. So for me, that's a plus for them to go to school. Why do you think people don't hear about these kind of things? Media hype, you know, media these days, uh, fake news, whatever. They want to, you know, scare people, you know, who knows? Over a 99% survival rate of the virus, so. Yeah, I'm more worried about the flu. You know what I mean? Or being run over by a bus crossing Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. You know what I mean? Being struck by lightning, to be honest. Yeah. And we don't get much lightning out here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Of course, any deaths are sad, but the way that the media is portraying it and the politicians are makes it seem like this is the end of the world for us, which I think is a bad precedent to set for Americans today. And that's where I think the control thing comes in. I think they're setting us up for a big failure later on saying lock it down again just uh conditioning us for something i don't know what it is but i think there's just more behind it and next thing you know your gun rights are gone you can't leave the house without an okay you're waiting in a bread line you know what i mean why do you think things are still continuing to be shut down and schools closing and things like that i think it's a political ploy for power to keep us in line I was just tired of getting to, told to have to wear a mask everywhere we go. Obviously, me wearing a mask for three feet isn't going to stop the spread. As soon as I get to the table, I'm going to take it off. I, it just makes no sense to me. I get some regulations, you know, washing your hands, doing this, yeah. keeping your distance, whatever. I'll do that, but I just think that's overboard. You're not doing anything but causing inconvenience at this point. It's destroying small businesses in this country. I mean, the big corporations like Target and Walmart, like, they're fine. Small businesses, they're all shutting down, and that's because of these these elitists who are doing this. Yeah. So I was actually pretty surprised at the answers we got today. It turns out not everyone is a sheep. Not everyone listens to the mainstream media and what the left has to say. Of course, all the deaths from COVID are sad and terrible deaths, but we should not keep our country locked down. We need to open things back up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This has been Will We with PragerU. Make sure you share this video. Comment your thoughts down below. See you in the next one. Peace. Like coronavirus? I have no idea what coronavirus is. You just wear the mask for fun? No, because I need braces. You need braces? Oh, fair enough. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for watching this video. PragerU is a 501c3 organization. Help us keep our videos free by making a tax-deductible donation today. I'd really appreciate your support.